Morning everyone, right, we did manage to get done up on that drop there. You can see the bungalow gable gables, the bungalow gable. They're all finished now, so that is ready to be stripped, uh, well, ready to be roofed in. All we gotta do is put fire socks in the top. Um, but they can be done a little bit later because we're on this drop, the next bungalow. We've done 13 courses on the other side, just left the lintel off for now. And we've done 10 courses on this yesterday, so 23 courses on the gables after we came across there we've only got a tub of mortar left uh, to see us through till we get some later on it didn't get dropped on saturday and i wasn't aware of it till yesterday afternoon so we're going to get three more courses on this side we're going to jump up to the top we're going to do thermalite blocks we're going to do the concrete party wall blocks and we're going to do these thermalite blocks that's what i'm going to do today uh, to see if we can get that mortar to stretch a little bit further once we run out then we've got uh, cavities to clean out into the last plot <coughs> all the way round. We've got cavities in the top plot that need cleaning out and blocks replacing where we can put them in, where there's no gables. So we've still got some jobs that we can get done today, uh, even if we're out of mortar. And this can get finished loading up. So we've still got plenty of work to do. Let's crack on with it. Yeah. Wet mud, isn't it?
doing me one. Uh... Right, we've now finished that second lift over there. You won't be able to see it from here unless Ozzy does a little bit of a zoom in. Yoink. Second left right round that corner. That's ready for the roof. Well, the scaffold is running now, getting it up, uh, lifting it, and then the crane's booked in for Monday next week. So, all being well, I'll show you where we are now. We're up on the top corner plot. Hi, Dan's missus. Um, that's who's buying the house. Uh, and we're doing a good job for you. So, have a look here. This is this strap that comes from the roof. If you have a look over the other side, this holds your roof into your wall. So what you want to do ideally is make sure it lands on a full block and then I put a nail in it to keep it nice and secure. Uh, and that's what we do with that. Down here on the ends, you want to make sure that you cut chamfered blocks into this. What we've been doing now, uh, a little bit of a time saver is, you'll be able to see it on the other end, Damp tray in for over the window. That's in. This has got soldiers to go in above here. Just wants a little bit of a tidy up. What we're doing now is I'm using thermalite brick around these ladders. Uh, these are called ladders for anyone who doesn't know. Uh, because these are meant to be supported by the block. So rather than cutting an angled block underneath, I'm finding that it's a lot easier to go across, stick that underneath, mark it off like that and then we can just chop it on the, the block splits it no dust required nice and simple like that no wastage and what we'll do is that piece will get bedded underneath there to support that and then i'll just cut another piece into this another piece of block into there and then it ends up like that obviously it's just got to be mortared in but that is a nice little solid section no gaps no nothing it's built up and it'll support that a lot better than trying to wedge a cut under or whatever i feel anyway and it's, it's nice and quick for me uh and then obviously the off foot will just go in there like that and then you can get another piece in there just have to cut a little bit off it do that all the way up uh trowel of well uh, it's a nice sunny day, last night I shot 46 going round golf, just 9 holes um, on the way out, which is pretty good for me, was hitting it a lot better than uh, usual, I'm going to be doing a video tomorrow, got a round boot in, 4 ball, so get over to the golf channel tomorrow night, I'll be having that up, no problem, but now just enjoy a little bit of block lane. You don't have to go over the top of the line, just go through it. And then once I've got so far, Ozzy will jump on this other side and uh, he'll drink that up for me. There's some snots hanging out at the minute, you can see hanging proud, but that's because they're nice whole joints. And we just slap one up onto the wall, just like that. You can see the joints are very full. And we just keep troll la 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 la. Uh, up on this corner plot, there is three of these gables. Like this, you've got this one, the opposite side, and there's a little pediment on the front. It's not as big. How many blocks are in that one at the front? Uh, literally just about 20, 25. Oh, so it's not many. That's, uh, that's pretty good then. That's just a little bit of an update for you all. And I only like you, unless Ozzy has been doing a lot of spreading for me now on the brickwork, which is speeding things up a bit. Um, but obviously on these thermalite block, because they're so dry, if he was to get in front of me spreading with these, by the time I got to it, it better be all dry. And I don't really want that. It just makes everything harder to go down. So... And carry on with his loading duties after. We didn't preload any of this drop, did we? No, it just started this morning. Because, to be fair, 
when we get up here, because I do all the block work first, he's got plenty of time to get in front and you can't really load bricks and blocks. So what I'll do is I'll do the block work on this side, I'll move over to the other side and then he'll load up this up with brick and vice versa and we'll keep bobbing around so he's already got somewhere to work and I've got somewhere to work. And then once we've got it up to height, they'll come and put a table in this time to suit the brickwork rather than putting the tables in first like they did last time. Uh, it didn't really work out very well for us, did it? Bit of a struggle. Yeah, the heights were fantastic. Because the scaffold is six foot five, and I'm five foot and a flip. He's doing it at head height, and my head only comes up to his mouth. So that's that. Right, so there's the quick update, and we'll carry on.